For decades, the process has been the same. Pick one candidate, fill in the bubble, and cast your ballot. The winner is determined by a simple majority. It's called a plurality voting system, and it's been in the U.S. since the country was conceived. But is it time for that election process to evolve? Across Colorado, ranked choice voting is gaining traction. In November, voters in Basalt used the system for the first time, while people in Boulder approved it for mayoral races moving forward. Using alternative voting methods has increased throughout the state. Now Denver and the Colorado Secretary of State's office are holding meetings to discuss the idea. We have a system right now that picks a true majority winner and the only system that picks a true majority winner and that's the runoff. In this Denver 7 360, you'll hear from a supporter of ranked choice voting, an opponent, a lawmaker, and a politics professor on the idea of switching voting methods. First, some context. Ranked choice voting is a system where people choose their top candidates and order them by preference. Their first choice is number one, their second choice is number two, and so on. When ballots are counted, if no one has more than 50% of the vote, an instant runoff is triggered. Candidates with the fewest first place votes are eliminated and the ballot's second choices are tallied. If there's no clear winner there, the process repeats itself until there is. Australia has been using this system for more than 100 years. Grand Junction was the first city in the U.S. to use this idea back in 1909. Denver even used a version of it for decades, but voters did away with it in 1935 after a particularly contentious election. Now, 86 years later, the idea is being revisited. For supporters of the system, On election day, many voters feel cornered. Ranked choice voting has a lot of benefits. It becomes like an existential crisis, and uh, people end up holding their noses and voting for the lesser of two evils. Along with allowing people to vote their values, it could save money on runoff races and might give third-party candidates a better chance. Did you ever see a man that likes a mask as much as him? Linda Templin from Ranked Choice Voting for Colorado says it could also make candidates talk more about the issues and less about their opponents. It really changes the way candidates have to campaign because they might need those second or third choice votes to build a win. Here's what we know tonight so far. Joe Biden has won eight states. Perhaps one example of why ranked choice voting could be a good option was the 2020 Democratic primary. Colorado has a strong early voting system, but candidates like Amy Klobuchar and Pete Buttigieg dropped out before the primary. I think people were frustrated. In all, about 150,000 ballots weren't counted since their candidates dropped out. In a ranked choice voting system, if a candidate leaves the race, the voters' second choice is then counted as their first. It would be nice to have this option available to make sure that doesn't happen again in the future. State Senator Chris Hansen likes the idea of giving the system a chance. Amendment L010 is lost. But with so much going on this legislative session. I'm not sure if we're going to move forward with it this year. Uh, we obviously have a lot of higher priorities with COVID response and recovery. It is a very non-transparent, very difficult way of conducting an election. That's Marilyn Marks, current executive director of the Coalition for Good Governance and... In 2009, I ran for the mayor of Aspen, Colorado. A former candidate in Aspen's only ranked choice voting election. Along with software issues that were discovered just hours before the election, even more problems were discovered after. The citizens were so dissatisfied with the way that it operated that after the first election, which was the election where I ran and lost, they voted never to have it again. Technology has come a long way since 2009, and 62 Colorado counties already have the capability of running a ranked choice voting election. Still, Marx says the system sounds simple, but in reality, it's complicated. We should be very nervous about the complexity of it. I think we've just seen what happens when people don't feel, the citizens don't feel, that they can verify how the election was determined. People are going to behave in bad faith about election integrity. They'll do it under plurality voting. They'll do it under ranked choice voting. CSU politics professor Matthew Hitt says one of the big challenges with the system will be educating voters about how it works. There would be, there'd be a learning curve that would come with. There's also a cost to change the system. And he's not sure ranked choice voting will make a big difference. So the idea that you would have radically different candidates winning elections under ranked choice voting is probably asking too much. So while he believes the idea has potential, for HIT, the biggest question that comes to mind is... What do we think we're going to get out of it, realistically, that we don't already have? And is it worth the cost, the confusion, the inevitable controversies and litigation that are going to come? 
Colorado has long been at the forefront of voting reform, from election security to mail-in ballots. Across the state, ranked choice voting is gaining momentum. The question now is whether this is the right change at the right time. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.